It starts with a sneeze, then a sniffle and a trickle. Is it allergies, COVID-19, the flu, or just your standard cold? We take a look. Saturday was very pollen heavy and very windy. And by the afternoon, I was feeling I was feeling pretty beat up. Virginia Beach resident Christine Lotito is not alone in the feeling. About three weeks ago, we started seeing the uptick in allergies. It's that time of year. Spring has sprung, and that means... Warmer temperatures in the winter, but then we have all this extra humidity. Uh, for many mold species, that will definitely increase their growth and reproduction. The amount of mold will decrease throughout the winter, but because it has been warmer and wetter this year, it may have actually continued throughout the entire winter season. Christine's symptoms are typical of allergies, the experts say. I started to get the um, tickle in the throat, a uh, little bit of pressure around my eyes, and then a really bad headache and just sort of an energy drain and it comes on pretty quick. So how do you know if it's allergies or COVID? You know, when we look at COVID, a lot of times you're gonna have generalized body aches. Sometimes you're gonna feel under the weather. It's the fatigue that's the biggest difference between the two and fevers or chills. Same for the flu and cold, says Dr. Ryan Light with Greenbrier Family Medicine. The best remedy to keep the allergies at bay, nasal steroid sprays and other over-the-counter medicines. Allergies are difficult to treat, but you have um, antihistamines you can buy over the counter. Those are the Claritin, Zyrtec, Allegra. An allergy test is always also available, can help you narrow down the cause as well as avoid the worst symptoms. In Norfolk, Chelsea Donovan, News 3.